Hi everyone, today I am going to do my December wrap up and my January TBR. So I did not reach my reading goal for 2015, which I think I mentioned in my last video, but I did make it to 84, 85 books, I believe. So I was only 15 books off, which is really awesome. So I did keep my reading goal at 100 books for this year because I want to try again. Because even though I didn't make it th this year, I might make it next year. And if not, I'll just keep trying. It's a goal. That's why we make them. To try and reach them. And if we don't reach them, we continue to try. But anyway, I'm just going to get on with the books. I didn't read a whole lot in December because of exams and the holidays. But I did finish quite a few bit books in December. The first book that I finished is... Air of Fire by Sarah J Maas. I have been reading this book from October to December, so about three months, and I really enjoyed it. I was kind of put into a reading slump between school and work, but when I finally got to, I'd say, the last half or the last quarter, basically where part two starts, the book really starts to pick up because the first part is kind of slow, but that's because she's like building up from where we left off in Crown of Midnight, and I'm really looking forward to getting to the next one. I gave this five out of five stars. Then I finished reading All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. She is a YouTuber. I've spoken about this book before. I really enjoyed this book. I gave it four out of five stars. It's more aimed for teenagers, but I still really enjoyed it. There's a lot of wise uh, ideas. She puts forward in this book and I highly suggest you pick it up if you're a fan of hers. Next I finished Modern Romance by NZ Ansari. Although I do have a physical copy I listened to this on through audiobook on my Audible account and I really enjoyed it. I gave it five out of five stars. It's not what you would expect. You like I know a lot of these comedians are coming out with these biographies but this is actually a like sociological study on romance today and how it's changed from the past. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, I definitely recommend you pick this up. It's definitely an interesting read. And the final book I finished in 2015 is Carry On by Rainbow Rowell. I had been, this is my most anticipated book of the year because Rainbow Rowell is just my favorite author of all time and this did not fail. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. Absolutely fantastic. Perfect read for over the Christmas holidays because it does go over Christmas. So that was really awesome that I got to read it during that time period. After I finished Carry On, I did pick up another book, but I didn't finish it in December. I'm actually still not finished it. I'm not even halfway through it. And that is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Moss. I'm... 126 pages in and yes that is actually in the middle of a chapter. I had to stop in the middle of the chapter for one reason or another and I haven't been able to pick this up yet because I am back to school and I'm doing an English course so I have to read books for that which I'm going to talk about now in a moment. But I do plan on finishing this in January if at all possible. The first book that I have to read for school is The Gift by Patrick O'Leary. The course that I'm doing reading these books for is a sci-fi and fantasy course. And so this is the first fantasy book that we're reading. I'm about 105 pages in and it's very interesting. It's a story within a story kind of like that book by Patrick Rothfuss that I can't remember the name right now that I really want to read. The Name of the Wind. Name of the Wind. So it's it's from what I can understand, The Name of the Wind is a story within a story, and this is also a story within a story. This is actually multiple stories within a story, so it's kind of hard to follow at times, and it's a little dry, but still really enjoyable, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to finishing this, because I think it's going to get really good at the end. After I finish The Gift by Patrick O'Leary, I have to pick up Tagana by Guy Gabriel Kay. She explained that she wanted to choose at least one Canadian author, one American, and one British. 
So this is our Canadian author. I know nothing about this book and I'm kind of going into it blind. I figured I'll enjoy it a lot more. It is a bit of a hunker, but I look forward to getting to this. Once I finish reading A Court of Thorns and Roses, my leisure choice for the month is Illuminae, The Illuminae Files of One by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is a book told in confidential files and emails and um, messaging things and I don't really know a whole lot about it. I know it's very sci-fi but I'm very excited. I've heard nothing but good things about this so I really am looking forward to getting to this one. So those are all of the books that I'm planning on reading this month. I do not know if I'm going to end up getting to the Illuminae Files because I have the two books to read for school to focus on first so I don't even know if I'm going to get A Court of Thorns and Roses finished this month but I am going to try if at all possible. I will see you next week for another video. Bye!